thank you guys all. Uh, there's so many faces here that I recognize from helping my campaigns over the years. I live in Whitman, not far from here, so you, so many people here have been involved in everything from the state rep race to the U.S. Senate and uh, to governor, obviously, state senate even. Thanks for bringing that one up. And, uh, oh my God, Brockton. But anyway, um, no, you guys have been there for me time and time again, and um, you're, now you're here for Lynn, and I really appreciate that. I just want to tell a kind of a quick story. If you guys don't know this, I met my wife, Kathy Jo. She's right over here. She is, uh, by the way, outranks me. She is secretary of the Mass GOP. She's a state committee woman and outranks me. So that's fantastic. I love it. <laughs> well, what you may not know is that she and I I'm met. I'm one of the ones that are paddling. She's yes. paddling. Yes. 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 She I have. And by the way, Lonnie, I knew Lonnie before he was a newspaper magnate, you know. I knew Lonnie when he was just out in the trenches like everybody else helping us out, but now he's got a paper that he can help try to elevate the discussion. And Lonnie, thank you for creating that paper and doing it. But uh, I met my wife on a blind date in New York City in 1990, and was it five? Yes. 95. And uh, my roommate, uh, where I was living in, the, in a, an apartment, and her roommate in an apartment in uh, New York. They knew each other, they were in grad school at Columbia, and uh, they thought the two of us might be a match. So I knocked on the door, and Kathy Jo Boss, I had no expectations, found out she was from Massachusetts, and uh, I think we both kind of felt like, and correct me if I'm wrong, that things were a good match, because <laughs> four months later after we met, we were engaged, and we were married a year after that. So wow. We, wow. we saw something in each other, that was special, we were attracted to it, and we've made it uh, 27 years, 20, we, 27, 27, 20, 27, 27 years, 27. We, so we're making a good go of it, so far we've done it all right, so far we've done it all right, and, um, but I gotta tell you, uh, I kind of went on another blind date, I don't think I really told you, but I mean, I told you, and that was, I'd been hearing about Lynn and about what she was doing as far as helping candidates, but I hadn't really officially, I think, met you yet. And so Jim Jordan was coming to town. This is about five months ago. He was coming to Massachusetts for some events. And I said, I need to get to know Lynn Santangelo. I need to know what she's about. You know, I want to, she seems like she's somebody who's really providing a lot of energy and excitement in the region that I live in. I need to get to know her. So I said, Lynn, would you be willing to spend a day with me helping out with Jim Jordan events? We're gonna, it's, it's kind of like everything from checking people into the door to making sure we collect checks to you know, helping people, you know, whatever, get pictures taken, whatever you gotta do, we're just gonna be there for a campaign events. And there was three events that day. And she said, sign me up, sign me up. And uh, we, uh, I picked her up, we went on the road for basically a full day. And she did every little thing. In fact, when people dropped out who, who were, weren't there on time, she sat down and took over the check-in desk. I mean, did everything that you could ask somebody to do who's been working campaigns for years, and yet she's only been doing this for a short period of time. She's a natural at understanding what it takes to try to run campaigns and win campaigns. So who else would I want to support who's running for state committee where my wife and I serve, but somebody who actually does the groundwork and the grunt work that it takes to help a candidate look good and make sure that they're connecting with the audience that's there. So, I mean, for me it was a no-brainer. It was a, it immediately, and I'm, I'm not proposing or anything. I, I, I have no ring. But I, but I am proposing to you guys that you, would, you do everything you can to help her win this race. Because I, I think not only did we spend the time working on the campaign stuff, but in between stops, I had a chance to talk to her about her philosophy, about what, what she wants to see in Republican candidates, where she wants to go herself. And I can tell you, she is a match in, in the beliefs that I have, which, you know, again, are about limited government, making sure that, you know, government works for each of us. We make our individual choices that we, you know, the small business owners have a chance to succeed in Massachusetts or in the country. You know, all of the, th the small things and yet they're big things. They're very big things. In fact, we saw it on a big scale down in Washington. Jim Jordan just yeah. recently had to basically step down. And I it really took the heart out of me this last week to see him not get that uh, speakership. But at least Jim Jordan, like what I was doing, at least we exposed part of the problem in our system. That we have a Republican Party that isn't, as Lonnie mentioned, always working once the primary is over to help that nominee win the race. I know Lynn is gonna 
put aside anything, I have been willing to put aside anything to make sure that I support those candidates who win the primaries. We've got to all believe that a Republican is better than a Democrat at the end of the day. And even if it's not the de Republican that you supported or maybe they have some beliefs that are slightly different, it's okay. If you like Trump, great. If you like DeSantis, great. We don't have to hate each other because of it, right? Back in 2016, it was so, so much animosity, right? But we can put those things aside and we got four great years of Trump, even Jim, by the way, Jim Lyons, if you don't know him, former chair of the party, served with me in the legislature, sat behind me for eight years. I got a call the day I, I endorsed Donald Trump and Jim Lyons reamed me out for about a half an hour. The <laughs> dumbest thing I've ever done. The guy's a total a-hole, blah, 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 blah. Very insightful. Jim and I were down at the inauguration together, <laughs> wearing, wearing tuxedos, and Jim said to me, you know, Jeff, you actually saw, you saw something I kind of missed. <laughs> and I said, you know, I, I think I did. But I don't, I, I don't hold grudges. You know, we move on and we work together. And Jim became chair of the party. Kathy Joe and I ran to support him as chair of the party. And um, look, I think that we're in a tough spot right now. Nationally, our party's not unified. In the state, it's not unified. But if we're at, if we're at ground level, that's all right. It means only, an up, only going up, right? That's a good thing. It's a good thing because we can rebuild the party based on our principles. And I think, again, Lynn is someone who works for a small business, is someone who cares about her family, cares about her dogs. If you check her Facebook page out, she really loves her dogs, if you, did, if you don't have it noticed. But she's someone who cares about people and what they, they care about. And that's why I'm so grateful that you're running. I'm so grateful that you're letting me speak tonight. And I'm truly honored uh, to endorse you in this race. And I think folks, when you hear what she has to say, you're gonna you're gonna love Lynn even more. So get on a date with her sometime. Get out there with her and go knock some doors and have some fun. She is an awesome candidate and it's gonna be a great state committee woman. Thanks, Lynn. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We have a flag up on the wall over there, so if you could please stand for our great country.